Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create our profile picture or our avatar. One thing to remember is that these are usually what shows when you're putting comments on videos. So they're tiny. So you want it to be quite kind of simple and bright and to stand out. You don't want to put too much detail in there because it'll just be lost. Now, one great thing about Canva is that it's got so many pre-made templates. So if we just type in YouTube, you can see all of the different uh, templates that are already set up for us. In this case, we want to use YouTube icon. Canva will then give us tons of pre-made templates that we can use as well, some suggestions. So it may be that you just want to change the words or add your own picture onto these, or it may be that you would, um, you can use them as a starting point where you can pick one of them and then just delete certain things off there. But you can see they're all quite simple and, um, and bold. If you had a particular color in mind, you can actually filter these suggestions by color as well. So as you can see, if we choose green, it just gives us these ones. I'm just going to start with a blank YouTube icon. One thing to remember with these is your icon, if we go back to YouTube, do you see these icons here? They're circular. You can't have a square one. So there's absolutely no point in filling up the details of these corners. So you want to try and keep it circular yourself. Now I'm just going to color in the background. I'm going to, and I'm going to keep it quite a nice color, quite bold. I'm going to go with that blue. If you want to make sure that you're kind of working to a circle so it's going to look effective as well, then one thing you can do is click on Elements. Under Lines and Shapes, you can create a circle. And you can just drag that circle. Now it's up to you. You can actually make that part of your profile picture if you want, or you can just use it as a bit of a, an overlay whilst you're setting everything up and you can delete it at the end. Let's colour ours in yellow. Now the next thing I want to do is you can either upload a picture of yourself. So if you click on Uploads and Upload Media, you can add a picture in of yourself. So I've got this one of the Hoff. That's if you wish to have um, just a picture of you on there. Or if it's a bit of a faceless channel and you just want a brand, and if you click on Elements, you can just find something that relates to your brand. It could be your official logo if you're a business, or it could just be something that fits in with the, uh, the theme of your channel. So fairly obvious, but let's just have a quick search for dog. I'm gonna click on this filter button because I don't want any animated ones. I just want a static picture. And again, what you can also do in there is if you wanna filter it by color, you can do. Scroll down until you find one that you like. I'm actually going to go with this guy. As you move your elements around, you'll see these pink lines. Then in pink lines show you when you've got the center point. So you can see there I've got a pink horizontal and vertical line. That means I've got the center point of the actual um, canvas, which is good. That's what we want. Now we could leave it at that. It's nice. It's simplistic. It kind of does what we want it to do. If you want, you can add some text, but again, you've got to remember, going back to YouTube, you've got to remember that there's not much room for text. So you can see that, that's a BBC logo, and you can barely see the BBC. So personally, unless you just put in a couple of initials and it's all about the text, personally, I would try and leave text out of it. All we do now is download, and you want to download it as a PNG file. Go back to our YouTube channel, and remember, we're still in the settings and the customization tab. I'm going to upload the picture. If you wish, you can crop it in here, and you can see there's a faint outline there which shows exactly what's going to show as part of the profile picture. So we're going to actually have a very thin line of blue that's going around there, which I don't mind, that'll look all right that, but if you wanted it to just be the yellow, you can just crop it in slightly. Click done. 